It's time for another real fix real fast. Wiring. It can be a mess sometimes. And that's why we have wiring diagrams so that we can figure it out. But reading them and making sense of them can be a real challenge sometimes. We've got a 94 Olds Bravada. And I've picked this one because it has a window motor problem. And for some reason, it seems like to me, the most texts that I've tried to teach electrical diagrams to, they really struggle with power window diagrams. I think it's because they're pretty complicated from the standpoint that one wire sometimes will carry power and other times it'll carry ground. And one motor can actually be operated from two switches, either the driver switch or the, the window switch itself on that door. So it does offer some difficulties. Let's take a look at it and see if we can't figure it out. The complaint on this car is that the rear window won't work from the main switch but it will go down but not up from the rear switch so at the main switch which is in the driver's door it will not go up and it won't go down but if we go over to this right rear driver's door that switch the window won't go up but it will go down kind of an odd sequence isn't it let's see if we can figure it out from the diagram We've got to gain access, take the panel off so that you can get to the components. And the first thing to do is test it. But we've got to review our diagram first so that we know what we're going to be looking for and what we have. So let's look at the diagram. I will put this diagram on my website that you, so that you can print it out. And I would suggest you that you review it. Look at it real close. You're probably going to even want to watch this video more than once because it can be a little tricky. Here's the diagram. Let's add some color though, because that may help us try and figure out how it's supposed to work. Knowing how it's supposed to work can usually tell you where your fault is. Here's where the ground begins. We're going to start with the ground and see where it comes from. The ground travels up, goes up to the main switch. Now this is in the driver's door. Travels through the switch, travels out of the switch down to the rear switch. That's the right rear door it travels through there to complete the circuit. Now this is the ground circuit at rest normally closed. Now you do need to understand the difference between a circuit at rest and a circuit under power or being operated, being commanded on. This is the ground circuit at rest normally closed. That means nobody's working any switches. No switches are moving, no windows are moving, no motors are moving. Now let's look at the power circuit. We've got the main switch and the power comes to the main switch through a wire and you've got the rear switch. Power comes to the rear switch from a different wire, different source. This is the power circuit at rest normally open. Now notice the ground circuit is normally closed. That means all ground connections are connected. Closed means there's contact made between the wires. They're closed. The power circuit at rest is normally open. That means there is no contact between the switches. What do we mean by that? At the main switch you can see the power coming here and the up and the down there's no contact made. These switches are open. The ground circuit there is this actually should be green right here. This is a ground circuit at closed. Here's your ground circuit. There's contact between these switches. So this is a ground circuit normally closed. The power circuit normally open. It's not making contact. There's your switches up and down. The motor is right down here. 